up you guys so today's gonna be a tutorial showing you guys how I edited my latest Instagram video so basically if you're not following me on Instagram you should follow me link will be in the description but I posted a Instagram video a couple days ago and two of you guys are commenting asking me how I did some of the effects in the video so I'm just gonna break down all the effects I use so let's get right into it okay so the very first effect in the beginning you see the footage kind of warping a little and this was using turbulent displacement, so basically I keyframed the turbulence, so I'm going to show you guys how to do that right now. Okay, so I have my clip right here, and I'm going to go to effects and search up turbulent displacement, and then I'm going to put that onto our clip. And basically you can see that I al already slightly changed the clip into like some sort of warpy look. But first we're going to keep the amount at zero, and we're going to keyframe this, and we can put it a little bit after the clip starts. And then we're going to go a little bit after that and we can just move that amount all the way up so it has a sort of warping look on it. And basically you can play around with the sizes and different effects, but that's what I did, so yeah. <laughs> the very next effect, I go to this next clip and then I mask out the bar. I have a masking tutorial in my description. Okay, then in my tube clip, I have this little RGB look to it, and I have many RGB tutorials, and I also added the six screens effect and scaled it a little under 300, so it must have been like 270. The very next effect is the sunglass effect, and I have a tutorial on how to do that linked in the description. Um, I have a tutorial on how to change the color of certain objects in your video, and you can check that out. I have it in After Effects and Premiere Pro, so I'm gonna link that in the description. I also added light leaks um, underwater in the video and light leaks you can download on the internet but I also have a tutorial on how you can create your own light leaks and I'll leave that in the description but basically if you search up on YouTube free light leaks light leaks in general you can screen sh screen grab it too um, if you have a screen grab app like QuickTime player but basically you can probably download some free light leaks online very quickly, right at the end of the video where I'm swimming, um, it sort of warps and and for that effect, I quickly really did that, um, but the effect I used was in my 5 sick warp transitions video, and it was the very, very first effect that I explained in the video. Then I quickly have a bunch of different clips, and then I have this slide clip, and basically I masked out the end of the slide. Um, which was the pool, but I masked it out and then put a clip behind that and I have many masking tutorials So I'll link those in the description and then quickly I had a glitch effect on my friend and I have a tutorial on that too Then I just keep from the opacity so that this would blend in and with this clip I used the tutorial RGB Andreas Hem inspired RGB effect and you can watch that to create a similar looking RGB effect and I used optics compensation on that but also you can see a little bit of this rainbow effect and with this one I used a plugin it's called optical flares so yeah you gotta pay for that but yeah I use optical flares for that rainbow but no one really noticed it probably and this film strip I downloaded this from YouTube as well you can probably search up film strip packs and there's a whole bunch of video overlays that are on YouTube and you can screen grab it or you can download it they probably have a download link and basically I use a lot of speed ramping techniques in this video too this da -na 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 -na, all of that was masking effects it was just really fast masking and there were a bunch of different like poles on this tower so I knew I could mask it out a lot so basically I just kind of filmed knowing that I was gonna mask it so I would like pan down to the pole that you would grab onto so yeah basically I just use a bunch of masking techniques okay and this shot of the legs I have a tutorial on how to change your footage to purple and it was it's blowing up kind of okay very quickly this whole dun, 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 <laughs> um, basically I just was filming the palm trees and I sped it up a little bit and actually all these effects that you see there's like this rainbow sort of effect all of them were used using invert on Premiere Pro, like how I so showed you that purple effect. So if you play around with the other little effects, because there's not only that quad or something prominence, there's like other effects on there. And so you can play around with the colors with that. That's what I did with this part. And then I also add some particles aiming towards the camera and I have a particles effect tutorial. And basically real quick at the end where it like 
blurs. I just added fast blur and I keyframe the blur, so I'll show you how to do that right now. Okay, so I have my clip right here, and then the, in the effects, I'm going to search up fast blur, and then we're going to add that to our clip. I did the effect at the end of the clip, so I'm going to go a little bit before the clip ends, press the keyframe button for blurriness, and then go to the end and just bring that blurriness up. So I'm going to about 85, and then we're going to just press that check box for repeat edge pixels, and then what you can also do, like how I did in the video, you can go to the scale and press the keyframe button in the same place you put the keyframe for the fast blur effect and then go to the end of the clip and scale it up to about 120. And very quickly you see this night vision effect. Um, I use the invert on it as well. And also with my sister running and it's turning purple, I have a tutorial on that. This is literally the, th the thumbnail on the video, but yeah. And then this glitch effect, I have a video on how to do that. But I'll show you guys how to do that effect right now. Okay, so I have my clip right here. And first I'm just going to make a new adjustment layer. And then we're going to go to effects and search of wave warp. And then we're going to put that on our adjustment layer. And then we're going to change the wave type to noise. And then we can just bring that wave height up so that you sort of see those jaggedy lines. And also bring the wave width up. And you can play around with these numbers, but you're going to want the direction at 180. And yeah, so basically if you play around with the wave height and wave width numbers, you can get the similar effect that I got. And basically the adjustment layer is where the glitch will happen. So you can put it in between two clips to make it a transition. Whew, it's hot in here. <laughs> and basically for this effect, you see there's a little fast blur effect and I'll show you guys how to do that right now. Okay so I have two clips right here and basically I'm just going to cut the ending of my first clip and then I'm going to bring that to the second line and then move my second clip forward so that it goes right underneath that clip. And then I'm going to search up directional blur and effects and put that onto our top layer and then we're going to just bring that blur length all the way up until kind of has a smooth looking effect so maybe at 73 and then we're going to go to the beginning of where we cut the clip and then press the keyframe button for position and then at the end of the clip we can just drag our y-axis all the way up so that it goes to the negative side and basically the closer you put the keyframes the faster the transition effect will be use speed ramping again and then this one um it's a mixture of selective keying and I use the brush stroke transition effect very quickly. You can barely see it, so it doesn't really matter. You can probably use extract and it'll look the same, but I'll leave the selective keying effect. Basically, I just keyed out the tree branch first and then made sure to remove the background and then slowly after, I remove the tree branch. And this effect, it was just a swimming clip and you could see like part of the water, so I just sort of put the six screens effect on and then I keyframe the scale to go down to the water and it sort of looks like the shot is going from me and my friend and then going down straight to the clip of me holding the camera but basically I just keyframe the scale and position so that it moves down so that it looks like the clip is going underwater but then I just quickly added my clip in. So this one I use my changing colors effect and it's a very old video so I'll link that in the description if you haven't seen that and basically that's the whole effect I also just tried to sort of loop it but didn't really come out that great but I'll link a video on how to loop your Instagram videos so yeah I hope you guys enjoyed this video please give it a thumbs up if you did subscribe for more videos and I'll see you guys in my next video peace